yes, the web does give us the opportunity to kind of play varied characters. Also, with the whole series format, you have the time to kind of get to know a character and live with the character for a much longer time. For me, working with amazing actors like them is just, you know, it's, it's a way to grow. It's a way to kind of learn and... Uh, it just makes me better, you know. So it does half the job for you when you have such amazing actors opposite you because you just have to kind of be present and react. Hello everyone, you're watching KeepingMoon.com and today joining me for a very interesting and fun conversation is Arman Ralan who recently impressed us all with his Majnu act in Netflix anthology, Ajit Das Das. Hi, Arman. How have you been? I'm very good. How are you? I have been good. So, firstly, let me start by saying that you were great. You were fab in the short film, Majnu. I watched it. And, um, you know, you tell me, did the do you think the predictability factor that the short film had, even despite, you know, that it did not take the fun away from watching the re revenge of an underdog that's played by you, Raj, your character. Do you think that worked in the favor of the film the most? Um, you know, honestly, I think it's a little too soon for me to be able to like analyze it. And uh, because like a lot of reactions are still pouring in. Um, although like, yes, like you said, some people did see certain things coming before um, but some people didn't as well you know so it was like a mix a mixed bag and and uh, yeah like you said I don't know what it is that made people like it or if someone didn't like it for example I don't know it's a bit too soon for me and uh, but yes I, I'm really glad that even people some people who saw like a certain twist coming still did uh, like the film you know so I'm yeah. just I'm grateful that that happened what was cool was a few people told me that on the second viewing, there were like these little hints and they, they so there, there was a, there was like inclinations of it, you know, so it, yeah. it, uh, it was cool for those who got it also. And then who watched it the second time and saw it kind of for what it was, but yeah. Yeah. And I think that was the fun part that while watching it, you had this sort of an idea that something's going to happen, but you didn't know exactly what. So I think that open book, which was there, it was, you know, good to watch. Yeah. What about you? Did, you? did you see it coming or did you yeah. not? See it? Uh, I didn't see this coming. I just had something in mind. But you know that uh, revelation that was made by Jadeep and that scene of yours. Oh my God. I was like, what did just happen? And of course, after that, I knew something's going to happen. But okay. I had a great time watching it. I think I, I told you on Instagram also that, you know, you looked fab in it. The acting was great. So, um, you're most welcome. And you know, now they're calling you the surprise package in the film because we knew there's Jedi and we knew there's Fatima and we knew you were there, but yeah. we didn't know what role you were playing. But now, you know, being tagged as the surprise package, but how confident were you when you first picked up the role? Um, You know, so when I read it, I mean, I was really happy with my role and with the fact that I was with Fatima and Jedi in the film. I mean, for me, working with amazing actors like them is just, you know, it's it's a way to grow. It's a way to kind of learn and uh, it just makes me better, you know. So it does half the job for you when you have such amazing actors opposite you because you just have to kind of be present and react. So, I mean, I've been a fan of, I think the whole country fell in love with Fatima after after Dangal and Jaydeep as well. I mean, I've been a fan since I saw him in Wasipur. So it's been, I mean, it was really, really amazing to work with them. And I always was confident about my own role as well because at the end of the day the story is incomplete with any of these three characters you know so it is kind of all of them are going through a kind of uh, change through the story even though it's a yeah. short film and uh, it's like the, the the way it comes together towards the end everyone no one is where they were at the beginning you know everyone has this arc even though it's a 30 minute yeah. film so it was really cool to play that and kind of have him transform from where he was to where he ends up Okay. And, uh, you know, Arman, uh, you worked with Ranveer in Day Fikre. Now you have worked with Jedi in Majno. Uh, you know, as someone who's comparatively new in the industry, you don't seem to be, uh, you know, shying away from taking risks with working with strong co-stars. And that is great. So how do you, you know, figure it out that, you know, I'm going to work with them and uh, still shine out, if I may say so? Um. Honestly, I don't really see it as a risk because I feel like I'm better 
because of okay. these people opposite me yeah. you know also being new and not kind of you know i mean no one knows i mean maybe now a little bit more but i'm not coming with like you know people who are just like okay arman is coming in a film we have to watch it for that reason. um so it's it's like more people will watch my work as well because of these amazing actors who are known you know so from that perspective i don't really see it as a risk um also i have that belief that you know if i do my work honestly and and uh, i'm i'm my job is to make my director happy you know at the end of the day so my job is to kind of play that part with as much honesty as i can and i'm servicing the story at the end of the day i think any actor whether it's one scene or you know the lead and you're doing every scene in the film um your job is to kind of take the story forward and tell the story of the director you know so i don't really see it like that i mean i i see it as yes of course i want to uh, i i hope that someday down the road there will be a time where you'll be interviewing someone and asking them about me how you know what what you're saying about jaydeep and ranveer and that's the goal obviously to grow to that that stage but for now i'm just happy to be working with such amazing actors i'm sure and how was it romantic the feisty fatima sana sheik because the chemistry on screen looked great but you know it said that a lot of actors say this that intimate scenes in films and shows are more technical than romantic because you have to like follow so many things and keep so many things in mind how was yeah. it for you um no so again with with intimate scenes and stuff i just see it as another scene you know it's at the end yeah. of the day you're just doing a scene and you're playing a part of course there is an is a trust factor and a comfort factor where you need to have which i think in general with a co-actor that trust is an important thing you know the fact that you're there to to better the film to do to do that scene in the most honest way possible so um i don't really see it as like intimate or not intimate and uh, you know what i mean it's just it's another scene where you have to get this scene done in the best possible way and that's about it but yes trust is obviously a factor and working with fatima was amazing i mean i'm Uh, we were friends now and uh, it it was really good and i've been I, i think she was amazing in dangal so to work yeah. with her has just been uh, it's been really really cool definitely i'm sure and uh, uh, arman first wire of now dramatic these are all of course big banners and big uh, responsibilities i'm sure on your shoulders how do you take it as on the contrary i think the responsibility then becomes on their shoulders so i'm like i'm just going to piggy back on them you know so uh, of course it's it's amazing i've grown up watching yrf films and uh, and dharma films and to work with them it's it's most actors uh, dream come true you know so yeah. i hope that i continue to work with them um, and i work with other people as well i i don't see myself only working with so so called yeah, big banners i'd love to work with anyone who has a story to tell has a unique voice and has a story that speaks to me and uh, yeah but having said that of course it's amazing to work with all these people who you know you i've kind of grown up watching and and aspiring to work with so yeah it's it's amazing to do it so early in my career definitely and uh, why web because uh, do you think that uh, films these days or in fact since the very beginning they don't allow to show or to give a chance for actors to play flawed characters like i remember when kabir singh released there was this huge debate that started that how can you show a flawed man and all of that but people fail to understand that that is it that's what we are watching on screen that's not real it's real right. so how do you take it as do you think web is now offering a great chance for every actor every maker to be their creative selves and to show such characters i think so i mean uh, honestly i don't know how how like how and why we don't have those flawed characters in um, mainstream cinema as well i guess it'll start changing a little bit and anyway right now it's all on web you know there is no theatrical because yeah. uh, uh, of the current scenario and um so yeah so i i think um, i mean i like flawed characters because they're real you know and people are not black and white we usually have but like good people do so called bad things and you know uh, um so it's it's fun it's fun it's more fun as an actor to play and i was actually uh, shashank was saying this as well that when you do write mainstream kind of uh, films you tend to have to kind of box the character a little bit more in the in in the good or bad yeah. kind of realm you know so uh, yes the web does give us the opportunity to kind of play varied characters also 
with the whole series format you have the time to kind of get to know a character and live with the character for a much longer time which i think as an audience allows you to connect with it more as well you know so a film you are bound by like 2 hours 2 and a half hours and then you have that linear format kind of where you have to tell the story within and have closure so um so yeah the web is really exciting in that in that regard and I, i'm looking forward to doing more work on i mean hopefully once this whole situation uh eases out and i hope people are safe and you know the, there's so much happening right now that i think to first as a country to just kind of come out of this would be the best thing and then if you know if and when we have cinemas again i hope that all kinds of characters are shown on screen you know agreed yeah and uh, do you think that ajit das das has sort of made you the find of the year because every year we have these people even though i know that basically was your debut film but uh, you know every year we have these uh, people who just shine out and then in the end of the year we say that these 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 people did great so do you think that ajit das das has done that for you i hope so but i think it's a bit early for me to say and i'm i'm i keep finding some amazing actors while watching stuff as well so for me to say that i think would be completely wrong i really hope that people feel i'm one of the finds uh, at the end of this year and i hope that it leads to more good work um having said that i think there are such amazing amazing actors and the web is giving everyone the opportunity to come out and you know showcase their talent so i hope that i'm one of the finds of the year but i'm still i'm myself i'm finding so many people who I'll, i whose work i like i mean for example uh inayat who was in ludo and yeah. now uh kilona was just yeah. uh, i mean she's like I, to me i was like she's the find of the year you know because she's like she's like this uh, powerhouse performer and she's so confident and yet so vulnerable but it, i mean i was like blown away by her performance definitely agreed and uh, uh, you know i read an in, uh, interview of yours where you told that you are not a typical star kid so why do you say that because your grandfather has been like a legendary writer and director producer so yep. uh, you know you don't consider yourself as a star kid no i don't honestly so that was actually one of my first interviews i ever did and i, yeah. the, I that line was taken a little bit out of context uh, the truth is i don't even really consider myself a star kid because i have not grown up in this uh, film industry although i have a grandfather and my lineage um, we skipped a generation in in the movies and uh, my grandfather stopped working a little while before i was even born so i never really had any kind of you know connection to the movies my connection was through watching movies and i think what i inherited from him was the love for cinema uh so i just love movies and then i was living my life you know playing sports and doing whatever i did but i always knew that i loved cinema and uh when i finished college as well i mean when i finished school i told my dad i want to study film you know so he said look i don't have any way for you to i don't have any contacts in this industry and i don't have any way for you to kind of join this industry so you do your you know undergrad get a business background something that you can fall back on although i didn't want to fall back on anything i was clear but he said just do that and then chase your dream and do whatever you want you know so i did study business um and uh, then i started as an assistant director and then you know kind of worked my way through trained a lot as an actor as well um i studied filmmaking as well for some time so so it was uh, it, it was that so i don't really see myself as a star kid i really wish i was maybe like yeah. so that i got this so called you know launch uh, film but but i mean it, you know it's 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 a non issue because at the end of the day i feel in terms of longevity in your career if you do your work well and you do it honestly it will reach and touch people's hearts you know and and uh, then more work will follow that's just what i believe maybe it's too idealistic but that's just the way i approach it you know okay that's great and even then you know as someone arman who has seen the side, both sides of the coin uh, yeah. how do you take the nepotism debate as that's ongoing since forever um so see look nepotism is something that exists and it it's undeniable it exists not just in the film industry it exists everywhere i think everywhere. it's a natural human emotion for a father to take care of his son or daughter or you know that's just how the world works i mean yeah. um but uh, having said that i don't focus too much on it because it's not something that i can control i mean th- there would be somebody uh, i'm sure who has more access than i do or more opportunities than i do initially 
and then there would be someone else to whom i have more opportunities and access than the other person you know so yeah. at the end of the day my my outlook is just focus on your work and uh, you will make a way today the web there's so many so many things and and if you just look at the amount of actors we have we have amazing actors from the film industry who are who are really really you know extremely talented whether it's um, uh, ranbir alia and so many so many more and then we have people who aren't whether it's uh, ranbir ayushman um, rajkumar kartik so i think the balance is there and our industry i think people celebrate your work you know so the audience eventually is the decider because a producer can only back an actor for so long if the audience is not accepting them and not liking their work so i think it is eventually for longevity maybe people get someone gets an opportunity earlier on that another might not but eventually the 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 level, playing field levels you know and then your work speaks for itself so i just focus on what i can control and uh, that's my craft my my abilities and hopefully you get good opportunities and and then just be honest with your work yeah fair enough definitely and uh, what next for you arman because i'm sure after majnu a lot of people are wanting to see more work of yours absolutely uh, it's been quite quite overwhelming and humbling i mean i'm really happy because people from the industry have been very very kind and warm uh, i have shot for something but i can't speak about it yet because it comes out next year and having said that right now i think with this whole scenario the focus for everyone is just to get through this to be there for each other you know to to follow the rules and uh, i'm just praying that people who are you know whether the daily wage workers or like uh, people the frontline workers i mean so many people are just out there doing their bit and just trying to get by you know so the hope is that things just settle down and like things are okay and people are not suffering and they get by and get through this and then uh once it's safe to work again and films are shooting again i i'm hoping that there's some good opportunities but i i've done one thing and i i don't know what will be next so i'm it's, it's a wait and watch i'm happy with the response though um and yeah fingers crossed okay and we wish you all the very best arman thank you so much for chatting with me it was thank a you. pleasure thank you so much likewise please take care and be safe you too you too thank, thank you bye bye